guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I'm up. I've had one cup of coffee. I'm on two cups of coffee right now and I have some things to get done today. So today's gonna be a busier day for me. Yesterday we had an awesome day. It was, did my shopping early, came home, got school done, we cleaned up and did things, and then we had the whole afternoon to just not do anything, which was great. It was really great. We sat outside by the pool, by the, um, the yucky filled water pool with pollen in it. <laughs> So we started siphoning it. I'm like, you know what? It's cold out. I'm like, it, it was warm in the sun, but it, it'd be too cold to swim. I'm like, but at least we could look at a pool that looked clean. So I think we're gonna start the process of getting the pool ready. So even if it's freezing, I'm like, you know what? We can uh, at least sit by cool water, pretty water versus, you know, black and murky with pollen all on the top of the surface water. So we sat out yesterday and it was just good. It was good. It was good, relaxing. I had some um, freezer meals. Awesome. I did those before I went to Michigan, way before I went to Michigan. So I threw in um, the Jared's, we call it Jared's casserole. It's basically Alfredo and tomato. Cooked some of that up and then I made the beef and broccoli. I don't even know, it was a Chinese beef and broccoli. I can't remember. That was so, so good. So good, probably my, that was very, I'm gonna say my most favorite, but it was very, very good meal. I'm definitely gonna make that again soon. So that we ate and then um, we just relaxed and chilled. So got some phone calls in and just had a good, good evening. So then today I'm like, I have to go out this morning and I have to go out this, like later this afternoon. So my thought is, when am I gonna get some filming in there? So, so the day, this what's happening, I'm like, you know what, I can either get up early and start or take all afternoon. So I'm like, I'll just get up early. So I'm up, I've got a list of things I'd like to do. We'll see how the time flies. I'd like to make granola we're out of. Um, we're almost out of applesauce. I've got some diced apples. I think I'm just gonna cook those up and then make them into applesauce. I think that's gonna be the best route for those because we're not eating them. We're not eating like baked apples, that kind of thing. We're just, we don't do it, we're not doing it. So turn them into applesauce. They were, I think they were the green, I think, I don't remember what kind of apples they were. I don't know if they're my applesauce kind or not. We'll see. I don't remember what I made. I'd have to look back on videos, but I'm just going to turn it into applesauce. So then we'll have that, that I can freeze it, make some more granola because we really do enjoy that because that is good. And then what else? We have to make cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken soup today. I'm going to do some homemade bread. And then I thought I've, I've got some gnocchi in there and I thought, why don't I make some gnocchi soup but make it with the dairy-free milk? So I'm going to do that today as well. So, and then I'm not sure what I'll do for dinner. That'll be like a lunch. I'll figure out dinner, but we'll see. I'm gonna see how much I can get done, started filming. We're just gonna have a good day. You guys ready for a great day? All right, let's go. First thing, I'm gonna make some everything braided bread. We really like this bread. It's yummy and delicious. It's just basically a really good white bread mixture. <laughs> and um, you just braid it together. I put some everything bagel topping on top. It's delicious. So I've already got some yeast here activated in some warm water. I'm gonna put this in my bowl here, and then I'm gonna add my milk, my butter, sugar and an egg yolk and mix that up and then start adding my flour. Okay, so that's all mixed up. I ended up using my um, white wheat flour, white white whole wheat flour. It's a really good flour. I had a little bit in there, so, and then I just had to use my regular flour. So this is gonna sit in here. I'm putting in my oven. I've got a bread proof setting. So, cause it's kind of, I have my windows open. It's kind of chilling here. So that will kind of help that rise. That can do its thing while I'm working on everything else. Next thing I'm gonna do is cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup. If you've never made your own homemade cream of mushroom or I'm gonna be over here. Or cream of mushroom soup, oh, you need to because it is so much yummier tasting. There's nothing wrong with buying canned stuff. We buy canned stuff, I do too. I try to have this, I mean, I try to have it on hand. It doesn't mean that I won't. There's not, doesn't mean that there won't be a time where I'm like, you know what, let's just buy the canned stuff. So do what you can do, but I do like making it. I, you know why I like making it is because I can do it with the lactose milk so that um, my kids can all enjoy it because we do do, you know, a bunch of recipes where use cream of mushroom, I'm peeling an onion right now, where you do cream of mushroom, where you do, you know, cream of chicken. 
and it's hard because when you're trying to get out of that like rut of making casseroles and dairy things it's hard trying to figure out like what to make so if you can make a few things that are dairy free or like you know with the right milk then that helps hugely so that's why i like making this so what i'm gonna do i'm peeling a bunch of onions here i'm gonna put everything in my food processor you can chop them up my kids are more of I guess they wouldn't mind if I left chunks in there. I guess when they were younger, I'd always puree it up. People are like, ew, that's gross. But it actually does just put the things all together and they do fine with it. And it is fine because I don't really, I guess I don't mind, I don't mind big chunks in my food, but sometimes kids go, oh, there's a chunk of something black in my food and it's just a mushroom. You know how that is. You know how kids are and it's fine. But if you put them in your food processor, you can just process everything up really tiny, make it all, of one you know small thing and it's good so let me um i think i'm gonna do two onions because i'm gonna do chicken too okay so what i'm gonna do in my food processor right here we are gonna put some onions you can do i think my recipe just i'm looking it up do i just have onions and mushrooms i just have onions mushrooms and garlic you can do anything you want i'm gonna actually put in hold on i feel like that's weird all right, is that a little better? Okay, so I'm gonna put in mine the onion here. I'm gonna puree this up. I have some celery. I made a tray of veggies here and this didn't all get eaten up. So I'm gonna just put this in here as well. And then I have a ton of mushrooms. I have two containers of mushrooms. So I'm gonna put my mushrooms in here. Everything is just gonna get smooshed up. So you just go ahead and put in here mushrooms. When you start processing them, it's like dirt, it smells like dirt. <laughs> Now do this, if it gets like where it's thick, you know, because it's all chunked um, vegetables, just add a little water, because when you cook it down, it'll just, like the water will just go away. So put this in here, process it, and then uh, we're gonna get out. So I'm gonna do my recipe times three is what I'm gonna do. So I've got some butter over here melting, process this up, pour it in there, and then do the next one. Okay, so see how this is pretty much pure. You can do, like I can push this. I feel like I put my blade upside down or something because this isn't chopping. It's up. I don't think there's, I think it's only one way you can put it. So see how it's just more like a blob of it? That's fine. I'm gonna throw this over here and get the next stuff going. Okay, so this is just over here. I'm just getting this all set. This is gonna be a huge, huge batch. I'm like, I might have to take some out because my pan is only so big. And that's okay. So got that last batch in there. I had to add a little bit more water so it would get in there good. I'm gonna put some garlic in here. A bunch of garlic. Good flavor. I'm gonna stick this right in here because that's good, yeah. Good bunch of garlic. Do a little bit of liquid in there. Okay, perfect. And then we do um, salt and pepper. Remember, this is a huge batch, so do not be afraid to use more. So basically, you're just gonna kinda cook this a little bit, and then I'm gonna add my flour to it to get it thicker, and then I'm gonna add um, beef broth to it. I'm gonna add beef bouillon and water, because that's what I have. If you have canned broth, use canned broth. That's just how I'm gonna make mine. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of the, um, we use, what do we use? The dairy, not the dairy-free, lactose-free milk to um, add this. You don't have to add a ton, it's just whatever. If you were gonna make this, I would mix it more with more milk, but I'm having more of the concentrate, and then you would add more milk to it to make it creamier. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So just kind of mix this all down. It's gonna be delicious, look at that. So much more flavor than canned stuff. It takes a little bit of time, but once you have this, it's like, I could just go to my freezer and grab it out. That's the beauty of it. I just used up my last two containers. We made that tater tot casserole. So I'm like, okay, it'll be nice to have some more on hand, which will be good. So just stir this up. So when it starts doing its thing, getting all, it's all flopping everywhere. I'm gonna add flour. I'm gonna have to add a lot of it because you know, this is like times a billion here. So stir that flour in there. I'm gonna have to get some more. It started plopping everywhere. It's like all over my stove. Be the messy kind of cooking day, and that is okay. Oh, 
and let me go get some more flour. Okay, you know it's always about way overfilling. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna definitely take some of this out. <laughs> We're gonna just get a bigger pan. It's all good. All right, we'll just do a couple batches here. So now I can get some more water. Okay, so this is pretty thick, so what I'm gonna do is add, make sure I add the right stuff, the lactose milk. I'm not measuring at all. Follow the recipe if you don't know how to make it. That's the way to do it, but just kind of stir in the sin to make it a little bit creamier. And then I'll do the other one here. This is delicious. If you just left the mushrooms as chunks, it'll look more, I guess, I guess like I think of the more expensive cans of cream mushroom soup you have more chunks in it where the other one it's more pureed up as well but pureed works. It's all about the flavor. So this and this has got some flavor. Really good. Taste it. Add more beef broth. If you added enough beef broth then add salt and pepper to help like enhance that flavor and bring that flavor out but this is going to be perfect right here. I think that's all the milk I'm going to add. So then I'll get the other one going. Let me stir this up and then I will put it in a big bowl so it can cool and then I'll put it in my little containers. And then get the next one going. I'm just gonna pour this in here because that's a lot. Ooh, that's hot on the one side. Pop it. All right, I can do. Whoops, what a mess here. I'm gonna put this ne oh, this next batch in here. Use my strainer spoon that works, and then do the same thing. Right here, adding water and my beef broth. I'm on. I think this is on. More. I know I gotta get more water. Alright. Okay, we have humongous, humongous bowl of cream mushroom soup. Yeah, that is delicious. So the next one is going to be cream of chicken soup. So this one, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to do some onions in my food processor. And then um, I'm going to put in mine celery, carrots, and then I've got chicken. And that's delicious. So chop those up in there. I've got, got some carrots on my veggie tray here. I'll probably get some more out. I will get some more out. A little bit of carrots adds some color to it, which is nice. Hold on. And celery right here, just chop this up. Okay, we're gonna puree this up and then we're gonna get some butter, put it in our pan, get it heated up, and then we'll add this to it. I got some partially thawed chicken. You can give big chunks in yours. I don't want big chunks in mine, so I'm gonna puree it up. I'm gonna use this thing to stir it because it's so much stuff in here. <laughs> I 
lots of chicken. You don't have to add that much chicken. You can do whatever you want. But when you add the carrots, it gives it like an orangey color. So it gives it more of like the yellowy, orangey, you know, color. I guess the color you would get in canned soup. I know the canned soup isn't orange, but it's just a golden color. It's all good. So just saute this up. Do the same thing. Add your flour, thicken it, and then um, add your chi I mean, add chicken boy onto this one. So we're just gonna let this cook. It's not as full as the other one, so. All right, let it do its thing. Okay, so we're gonna keep moving, doing things. So this is just gonna kinda, I gotta get the butter all melted. Should have melted butter first, but that's okay. We're just gonna kinda keep mixing it. What I'm gonna do next is put my apples in here to kinda cook them down. So these were ones that were green apples. So. I just dice them. I don't know if it's all gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. I'm gonna have to do a cup. I need to go get my pan. It's downstairs. But that's okay. We'll add some and as it cooks, we'll push down some more. So what I'm gonna do with these is turn them into wonderful applesauce. So, because it's one of those things that people like, oh, let's have apple something, and we never have apple anything. It's okay. Just a different shot it. We're shoving it, people. Just a different time. They loved applesauce this year, did not love apple flavored anything. So let me get a lid. Okay, let that kind of heat up. Put this in here. And then just keep stirring this here. And that's good there. And the next thing I'll probably start working on is my granola, I'm thinking. So it's good. It's gonna be a good morning. I'm like, okay, still doing good in time. Cream mushroom's kind of cooling. I'll start putting that in containers in a minute and we're doing great this morning. Look at that, see how good that looks? It looks like can because it's got the little bit of carrot pieces in it, so this is perfect. Nice and thick. When it gets thickened up, I gotta see if I add more boiling or just start adding the milk. Taste it, if it tastes good, you're good to go. Okay, I got this. Huge bowl of cream mushroom soup, so good. I could have done more, <laughs> there's way more cream mushroom than cream of chicken. You just add more veggies to it, add it more liquidy, more flour, it's fine. I don't mind the size ratio difference, but this is really good, this is really good. So let this cool for a minute, I'm gonna wash the dishes up so I can start my next project. Okay, so I was looking, I'm like, I need to start mixing up my granola. Well, I only have one big bowl, I have one in my garage. I just don't wanna go get that right now. So what I'm gonna do is start taking this and putting it in containers. I use these. I know the internet is full of this stuff now. Back when I started using this, no one even had knew what these were. And um, everybody used bags. And then this from the bulk food store, the Menlo store. Oh, sorry, sticking in my hand. They would serve there at their store. They buy things in bulk and then they, you know, give it to the consumer and they keep it in these plastic containers. Well, they would always sell these. So I always use these for freezing things. So now everybody in the world talks about it online, but they didn't. So this is all something you can use. So I'm just gonna take this soup. It's delicious, delicious. Get the hard crusty off the top. And then I'm just gonna pour some in here. I'm gonna use small ones. I did use big giant ones before, but it was, the soup was thicker. So I think that I'm just gonna do this size right here. I'm gonna end up with a gazillion here. But I'm gonna have cream mushroom soup for a long time, which is beautiful. So this would be like equal to, you know, a can of the soup, but it's more concentrated and it tastes a whole lot better. So if you were to obviously put in comparison with, you know, the Campbell's or the cream mushroom great value, this is by far gonna win. And you can add more milk to it if you want when you serve it or water. I'll use mine in casseroles, so this consistency is gonna be good. For me, if you don't have a lot of freezer space, like you don't wanna, you wanna make it more concentrated, just add less um, bully, or beef, like beef broth or the chicken broth for the chicken one or less milk, either one. You could just do this and then add the milk to it when you go to serve it. That's what's uh, so good about this. Okay, I wanna fill mine to the top and I realized I gotta put a lid on there, so be frugal. <laughs> don't overfill these. You can overfill a lot of things like bowls and pans, you know, it gets everywhere, but 
not these because you don't want them to shoot out everywhere but this look at like i'm gonna put a ton of this basically i had two packages of mushrooms however much that would be oh spilled it okay so let's keep filling this up it's good good day i'm feeling good like looking at my clock going all right i think i'm gonna get a lot more in well, how do i get much more in? i'm gonna try to get much more in here for my day so let me fill these up and we'll uh, put lids and then we'll stack them in the freezer Okay, so I got all, I didn't have enough small containers. I was like, no, but that's okay. So I ended up with 18 of the, these are, I think, pint size, pint size. And then I used what I could, and then I had some big ones too. But if I, these are two, uh, I think it's a little, is that a quart? I think it's a quart. Not a big quart. Maybe this is pint, half pint, I don't know, whatever the size it is. These are, if you had two of these, this would equal one of these. So I ended up with 18 and 18. So that's pretty good. So then when I do my recipes, if obviously I'm gonna have to use a little, I should have put like the, mushroom in here because i probably use mushroom more but that's okay we'll make it all work so i'm gonna put lids on these and then they're gonna have to stack in my freezer somewhere Yeah, we're moving right along. The next thing I do is some um, granola, homemade granola. We made this and it was so good. Hot, I mean, I used to make it monthly back in the day. Back in the day, way back yonder. <laughs> back in the day, I made it a lot. Then just, you know, got away from doing this kind of stuff. So I'm ready to be doing it again. So my recipe, I'll put the original one on the screen. It has five cups of wheat germ. I do not have, I have maybe half a cup of wheat germ. It's okay. And then I do have sunflower seeds, but like I obviously wasn't planning on making this when I went shopping. I'm gonna save this because we like eating this on salads and on um, cottage cheese. So I'm not gonna use it. I'm like, I wanna save that for that. But I do have pecans, pecans. That is in my recipe and it says, I have, what is this? One and a half cups, this is two and a half cups. So that's gonna kinda take the place of my pecans. And then sesame seeds, again, I don't have these. So I'm gonna take walnuts because whatever you want to do. Granola is one of those things, it doesn't really matter what you add to it, it'll be just fine. So it tastes good, you just need the, the bases, which is oats, and then the rest, just whatever, throw in there. So I'm gonna add, another thing I do, didn't add last time was powdered milk. Um, you don't have to, you definitely don't have to, you can add it for more protein, but the people that eat this are not, like Jaden and Jensen do not eat a lot of this, so, or they don't even eat it. So that's not something I'm worried about, but it's mostly Madeline and I and Autumn. So, and then um, Brooklyn too, so that's, why I'm gonna add this because we don't have a problem with it and use this up because this is something I do have to use up. So I'm gonna mix up the dry ingredients in one bowl and then I'll do the wet ingredients. You just have to make sure that it's wet enough. So my, it's honey, coconut oil, and maple flavoring. That's what I'm gonna use. You can just use vanilla, whatever you wanna use, but when you coat it all together, you just wanna make sure that the granola is coated and then you stick it in the oven, which is beautiful. You can leave it in there. So my thought is, if I have to get out the door and it's not done, I can just turn it on low and just leave it in there. As long as you don't have it too high, it won't burn. It'll just, it'll smell so, so good. So let's mix this up here, put it in a bowl, I'll put the recipe on the screen. Okay, let me help you out a little bit. So let's say you're mixing this up and your honey, honey is a lot of honey, I know that. I guess I can choose this. It costs a little bit more than, you know, sugar and stuff. So what you can do is just add a little bit of brown sugar to it. You don't have to, you can just, I'm gonna add my, you know when you buy a granola at the store and it's very, um, you know, it's very sugary and it tastes delicious. You can also get away with not. When you're making it, 
if you're used to the sugary granola, kind of like when you're making um, homemade yogurt. When you make homemade yogurt for the first time, you feed it to your kids, they're like, ew, they're, where's the sugar? So like you usually, I usually pair up strawberries. You can use honey, but the kids are gonna be like, why is it not very flavorful? If they're used to sugar, add the sugar to it. And then you know what? As you make it more and more, decrease the amount of sugar. That's, it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar to this just to make it a little bit more sugar. You do not have to. You can just add what you have and then just pour this all together and then stir this up. You just wanna make sure you coat your ingredients. I had flaxseed I found in my pantry. I forgot I had flaxseed I bought. I bought it to make some energy bites. And um, I'm like, oh yeah, I have that in there. So it doesn't need to be like anything, but it just needs to coat the oatmeal, that's all. Just make sure your oatmeal is good and coated and then it's good, you're gonna be good to go. Like I said, it's very forgiving. You can do like, my spoon is, I bought these, they're not the best. Um, you just, you can add like granola, or not granola, what's it called, graham crackers, crush up some graham crackers and add that in there. That would be, you know, a good way. Any kind of nuts, any kind of, your little flax seed you can add. Um, what's the other stuff, chia seeds, whatever. Whatever kind of stuff you wanna to add to your, your stuff, but just make sure it's nice and coated. That is your key. See that? Delicious. If you don't have maple flavoring, add vanilla. That's fine. You can do whatever. It's whatever flavoring you like on everything. So see that? You just want to get look at loose or it looks too dry, like you added way too much dry ingredients, then get a little bit more liquid added in there. If you just put sugar in here without adding it to liquid, it's not going to dissolve. So put it in with some coconut oil or use another thing is like maple syrup is a nice alternative. So that's good right there. I'm gonna pick up my mess, get a pan out, and we'll put it on there for the oven. Okay, so the apples are definitely done. So I don't want to go down and get my applesauce machine. So I'm hoping I can just smash them and they will get tiny. Okay, I think that's how, like I have friends that just literally cut up apples and then they put them like in the slow cooker and they turn to mush. So I am hopeful that that's all I have to do here. Right, just I don't have like a smusher smusher. I could probably put them in the food processor. I don't know if that, I think it would be too thick. Hmm, I just don't want to go out and get the applesauce machine. So I'm thinking just smash this down. We can have chunks of applesauce. I think that would be good. Look at that. I think these were Granny Smith apples, so they'll be a little bit more tart. I mean, I don't mind chunky applesauce. Madalena is my, well, I'll show the kids like applesauce, so we'll see. Get this done and then I can take my bread out, get that work done. I'll put my granola in the oven and then I'm gonna start on, um, some soup. I was going to do some energy bites, but I think I'm going to skip that today. I'll do that another day. We'll do more treats another day. I need treats, but I'm just not there yet. Look at that. Okay, that's going to work. I think the key is taste it. So this one is just more soury because it's not like I, I'm trying to think what kind I use. Do I use pink lady apples? I write it down so I don't forget. I don't even remember which one I would use, but as long as it tastes good. It's just a little more sour. It's good, the applesauce, using up those diced apples so that nothing goes to waste. Okay, we're getting our next things going. So I've got a bunch of these because this is what I stored my applesauce in last year. And we are down to like the bags because I ran out of room. So I'm just gonna fill these up. It'll be a little bit more chunky, but it's gonna be one of those things, like frozen applesauce is so good. Jar applesauce in the pantry is good too, but frozen applesauce, try it. It's so good. Did anybody ever have like an apple cider slushy? You know, like in the fall time? Think of how yummy and delicious that is. I feel like that's a good comparison to applesauce. I know it's not, but very, very much the same. So we always like it partially thawed when we go to eat it. It's just good that way. And sometimes we don't, like I think I have one in the refrigerator right now and it's completely thawed. So obviously we don't get it all the time, but partially thawed is delicious. So this is good. We're looking at, I used, these were all apples that like I would not do something with. I've tried, I've tried. Nobody's eating apple. I would eat apple crisp. I would eat apple pie, but 
you know what? If I make it, it's just going to be me eating it. So I don't need to eat an entire pie. Um, so this is good. Maybe next year they might want apples. I don't know. It just depends. It's kind of like applesauce last year. Nobody really ate it. And I had a bunch left over. Now this year I can't keep the applesauce and everybody's eating it up. So this year I'll probably make, I'll probably do the same amount of applesauce. And then, you know, it'll be one of those years where the kids are like, eh, hey, I don't really like it. But I mean, I do. I like applesauce. I like applesauce with granola. I think that's probably one of my favorite if I were to choose like a breakfast, that is what I would do. I would put applesauce and just put a bunch of granola. Mostly granola, probably almost equal amounts. So it's kind of like a cereal. I would even put cereal on top of this, I guess, like if you had good cereal. Look at that. Okay, that was just a half container. So I'm gonna get my lids. That's a small one. Let me get a small one here. Let's pour this in here. Okay, these are gonna go in here. Get my lids out here. And we are good to go. These are ones, these containers I got at Goodwill a couple years ago. I mean, a couple years ago. They last forever. They're like the nicer, thicker ones. The other ones that I buy, those are they're good, but they do break and they just don't last as long. So if you want to invest in some good quality freezer containers, get these. They're just a lot thicker. These have been around forever. Forever and ever. The day I think somebody used them for canning. Somebody used them for canning. They're like 1999. So yeah, these are old, but they are good, good containers. So perfect. All right, look at that. More applesauce done. Gather it up, friends. Let me go put this in my freezer, and then we'll start on the bread. Get that out. Roll that out, and then um, get this in the oven. We're doing a good, good. Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday, yes. My bread is coming out here. I'm going to put this in the oven and turn it on a lower setting. Actually, I'm going to turn it on a higher setting because I want it to get done quickly. This definitely needs to be rose. Riz risen up again, but I think I can make it into I need some flour. Be careful with this because it does have egg, so you don't want to obviously reach your hand in the flour because it has egg dough. This is good. So for this, um, you're going to divide it up and I'm going to braid it together to make my dough. So there's like an apple on the counter. You don't want that in your stuff. Okay, so I'm right here. It's all crooked. Do you mind that? Because I don't feel like turning it around. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take your bread dough. Usually, I think it's, you divide this both into three separate balls. Your bread can be as big as you want it to be. So just take it. That's obviously too big. Okay, as best you can, do some even balls. And then all you're gonna do is roll these out into, you can roll them out as long as you want. You can make them huge. You can do like a really long one. Sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I don't, and I just kind of flop it together. It doesn't matter. It tastes delicious. It's good. Last time, I think I just rolled it out like about this far and forced a braid, and it worked. You can do really long, like whatever's good. So just the white wheat flour is a little bit thicker. It's going to be more like um, wheat, obviously. So it's going to be not as like fluffy as the white one, I guess is the word. It is, but not as, it's going to take a minute. So kind of roll those out. This one's kind of small. Roll it up between your hands. I've got chicken in the microwave here. I'm just thawing it up. Um, it's shredded chicken. I'm gonna do some chicken, the gnocchi soup. I'm gonna try to get that done before I get out the door. So I'm thinking that's good. I'm like, good. I feel like I'm doing, I'm doing plenty for the day. So I was gonna do some treats, but you know what? I can do treats tomorrow. What, like, I can do that, right? Just today I have a lot of running to do. So it's just one of those things like how much do you want to shove in a day? I just don't want to shove too much in my day. So if I get this done, because we can have this for, this can be in there for lunch. And I have leftover, there's tater tot casserole. There's like a little glass dish of that. There's a glass dish of the broccoli and beef. There's a dish of the um, Jared's casserole in there. So there's food to eat. There is sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly. So I think we are good. So I think I'm gonna just get this rolling I'm gonna put together, we didn't do a salad yesterday. I wanted to do a salad yesterday. I just did not because by the time I had to run and um, I had to run out like at 4.30. And so it just kind of like, you know what? I got home, we were hungry and I was like, let's just skip it. So I didn't pull out a salad at all. So tonight we'll be good to do a big old salad as well with something, I don't know what, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner. We'll figure that out here and maybe I'll get in the video, maybe I won't. Maybe it'll be a freezer video, a freezer meal. You never know, I still have some in there, which is good. 
so you just, just roll it. When one gets, you don't want to like force it, so when it starts coming apart, just let it rest for a minute. Like put it down, do another one. That's the beauty of the bread dough. So I'm just gonna do like this. Like you could do way more. I'm not going to. So I'm gonna do like three right here and just braid it. Like one goes in. You don't you can do it great. I'm not going to. This is just quick. Look at right there. Let's do this one here. And just put your bread so it's like right here. Perfect. Let me get my pan out. I'm thinking here, it is gonna raise up. So I'm thinking like that, it's gonna expand on there a little bit. I don't mind if they're kind of pushed together. I'm okay with that. Like, I don't mind it separate. If you wanted like two separate ones perfectly, you're gonna want a bigger pan, but I think this is good. You can even just put it in like a nine by 13 pan. That will work as well and it'll just rise up. That's the, the beauty of bread. It's if it's gonna rise, it's gonna rise. <laughs> so just put it wherever, wherever you want. I'm good with this. Kids will like this. And then you just take your egg white. I've saved that, it's over there. I'm gonna brush that on the top and I have everything bagel topping. And that's what I'm gonna put on top of ours. That's good, that's good bread. It's a good thing. Okay, so this, and like I said, this takes a few minutes. If not, go buy yourself some bread. It's $1.50 at Walmart. Whatever you can do, don't feel bad if you can't make homemade bread. Go watch my videos six months ago. I did not make homemade bread at all. Um, I bought a lot of it and that is quite all right. You do whatever you can do in your season of life. Don't let anybody shame you or make you feel bad for what you feed your family, what you feed yourself. You do what you can do, you know what I mean? You might watch a lot of videos and you're like, oh, they're all this organic and made from scratch and all these things and you can watch it and you can go, oh, I'm not doing that for my kids. You know what, before the internet, back in the day, like there was no talk of that unless you lived in an area or you were like remote or you lived out in the country and you had like a homestead and that's how you ate. Yeah, that's that's not how the how people got to eat all their food. They had to eat what you had, especially if you live in the city, especially if you have just, you know, not a lot of resources or a knowledge of where like certain stores were. You just had to do what you could do. I think back to like what I ate growing up and like that was just the staple, like everybody else 90s, right? You had a bologna sandwich on white bread. I had I had cranberry juice, the juice box from Ocean Spray. And then I would do like a fruit roll up of the, the apple ones. And I would do, um, I had carrots and, I did have carrots and celery, but no dip, no dip. And then I would have like a devil's food, like the little Debbie cakes at my lunch. And that was like staple lunch. If you're lucky, you got like tato skins. And I know that a lot of you are like that. So it's just, you do what you can do. It's like, just <laughs> the, not, the internet has made everything so much more. Everybody sees everything, knows how people make things and it's just different. So don't feel bad. You're gonna, you're gonna be fine. Your kids are gonna be fine. There's people that live in other countries that have nothing. And I have friends that have kids from other countries and guess what? They grew up eating like stuff that we would like go, wow, that's not very healthy. And you know what? Their kids are just fine. Just fine. And then there's people that I know that live here in America that eat organic and healthy, exercise every single day. You would never imagine that anything's wrong with, you know, they would ever have anything wrong and then they get some horrible disease. And it's like, wow, where did that come from? So don't let people uh, do that to you. <laughs> the internet is full of people like that. So just you do what you can do. If you can afford ramen, you eat ramen. And you know what, spruce it up a little bit. Yeah, and if you can't, then you know what, it's okay. You're gonna be just fine. But you know what, you might just be single mom and you might have to you know, put your time into other things versus dinner. Don't feel bad about that. You do exactly what you can do for you. All right, let me wash my hands. Okay, I wasn't gonna do this, and I'm like, I think I need to do this. So take your egg white and whip it up. If you wanna get like a little um, immersion blender out, whip it up even more. It would make it fluffier faster. I'm just gonna hurry. this over here on the by the stove because the oven is on it will help rise it up okay so now I'm gonna make some chicken gnocchi soup let me get my little container here 
I've had this for a little bit here, this notebook. I got it at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, but you can make your own. That's fine too. It cost me five bucks. I bought it at a time that, you know what? I wanted to buy my gnocchi, and that is quite all right. Do what you can do. So I'm gonna chop up some onion, and I've got my chicken is in the, oh, the microwave, probably already thought. And then I'm gonna do some celery and some carrots. So this will be, this is really good. It's one of my favorite soups. See, just peel the carrot. Can you see that? You can't see it. Just peel the carrot, get all the outside off. All right, there we go. Get that all up. We're gonna peel this up, chop the veggies up, and then we're gonna put them in our soup. Okay, so we're cut those. I chopped those things up so quick. I'm like, I'm good. You could. Does it take longer to do that? I don't know. It just works. So I'm gonna just. I'm cooking this on 350. Obviously, you don't want to do too much. So I'm gonna have to be careful. It does not burn because it will burn quickly. So just keep on it. Pay attention. Like my corners are already browning. Probably two smaller pans would be better. But you know, let's overfill this one. It's just way easier to do that. So just keep stirring it. This smells so, so good. All right, that's gonna go back in there. So now what we're gonna do is start our chicken gnocchi soup. I don't ever follow a recipe, you know how I am, but I am working on something here coming up soon, so I want to follow my recipe to make sure it is pretty good. So I'm gonna add some oil into my pan here, and then I'm going to saute my veggies. saute these, get them all nice and cooked. Let me see my chicken. Oh yeah. Yeah, like chunk chicken, so that'll be good. Perfect, and I need time out. Let me see, just time, right? Spinach and time, let me get my time out. Okay, so you can cook this longer. I'm not going to because I want to get done. So do what you can do. I'm gonna add some garlic. I like my garlic. No judgment on garlic. So what I will do is stir this up. I'm gonna add my chicken here. It's a lot of chicken. I'm looking at it. Though. Hmm. Maybe half. I'm gonna do half. Yes. Because you know what I'm gonna do with this? I'm just thinking. I have a couple kids that are not feeling well still. We're getting there. It's just more closer one. It spreads through a bunch. You know that's what happens when you have a bunch of kids. So no matter what you decide, I think I actually gotta get another pot out and cook some soup. Should have done some onions. I should have saved some of this mixture. I didn't think about that. They just some like chicken. Is that gonna work? Let me add a little bit more in here. I think that's gonna work. Yeah, they're not big on onions and peppers and all that kind of stuff like I would like. So just kind of saute this. Add your salt and pepper. Get that in there so it's all good. I'm gonna add thyme to mine right now. I like seasoning. Don't be afraid of seasoning to your food. It tastes delicious. Stir this up. Got big chunks of chicken. They're kind of frozen, so just saute that for a minute. Okay, so I have to, I gotta turn this down a little bit because, actually, let's do 300. Hold on. Big. This corners, I can see that they want to burn a little bit. You don't want them to burn. So let me add, just pour your water in this block, and a liquid here. This is gonna be a very hearty soup. If you don't like hearty, add more liquid. I like more hearty, that's me. Um, that's it for chicken bouillon. What I did over here, I heard I made a pot, cause I'm like, that'll be a good thing because I have a couple of boys. <laughs> kids are sickness, it's funny. Kids in sickness, it's like we have we go in spurts. And it's not, some people get sick 
and they're like, oh, you guys are always sick. And I'm like, no, and really we're not. It's just that different kids get sickness. I've actually been tracking, tracking my kids' sickness. I never do that. I'm just like, oh, whatever. See, when they're, I've been writing it down and I'm like, okay. I'm like, the little boys haven't been sick in a long time and they're the ones that are sick right now. So I'm like, okay. So we just keep them kind of separated. The girls are downstairs and they're fine, which is a good thing. We went away on that trip. You know, lots of germs, lots of germs. So they are done. So I thought, you know what? I made soup here. So what I did to mine is there's lots of chicken and it's got a little bit of veg in it. And I'm gonna put, um, I got chicken bouillon on here, salt and pepper, garlic. I'm gonna add some hot pepper flakes because they like hot pepper. That'll be a good lunch for them. I'll add noodles to it as well. So this we're just gonna get boiling here. And then I'm gonna add my gnocchi to it and then my milk. I'm just thinking how much to do here. Cause I want it heartier. So let's move this out. Okay, so what I did, because there was a lot of chicken in there, I decided I'm gonna pull out salad lettuce tonight, the big bag of lettuce I got at the discount store. Make salad, but I'm gonna do some chicken. So we can either do wraps tonight or salad or soup or leftovers, whatever they wanna have. I don't really care if we have, don't have the same thing. Everybody's, you know, maybe they're feeling something different. I'm fine with that. But I was like, there was big chunks of chicken. So I pulled those out of the soup. I just kind of scooped the soup up and got the big chunks out and did the same thing over here. And then I put some of my um, chicken that I got from um, like the Sam's Club kind that we're gonna put on salad. So that works. So now my gnocchi is right, my stuff is ready here. You want to add this, that, just like that, so it goes all over the place. Yes, okay. No, don't do that. <laughs> you wanna add it, let it, it's gonna boil. When you know that your gnocchi's done, it's all gonna boil to the top. So that's gonna be your key for your gnocchi. Yeah, let me, let me pick up my mess. Okay, take that mess up there. My soup is gonna be ready right now, so I'm gonna add just like a handful to this. I think this is called, is it called Fido, Fido Pasta? I think that's the name of it. I could be wrong, Fido, I could be totally wrong. So, I always add way too much, basically let that come to a boil, and see how that is. And that'll be good soup there. Turn this back up, this will be good. And then what I'll add to this is gonna be, I have spinach in the freezer, because I got some, I think before our trip, never used it. So frozen spinach works great to add to recipes. So this, this is good. And then I'll add some um, lactose-free milk. And then this will be lunch with the bread, which I gotta get in the oven. Cause I gotta, I'm looking at the clock. What time do I gotta leave? Mm, about 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes I gotta leave. I don't think that's gonna be time to cook the bread. So I will just leave it out and put it in later. And that is quite all right. I can have something else put in the oven. So the granola is good. It's cooking, I can smell it. You don't want to burn it. So make sure you check it often gonna cook on the sides first so make sure you scoop away from the side you know and change it like I got a little bit right here darkened got a little brown but that's okay it's just a little bit of the sugar concentrate it's good right here okay just let that keep doing its thing until I go so I'll get this done here come on come back to a boil come back to a boil and then this will be done which is good so good easy easy morning I'm like okay I'm feeling like Got food, got stuff. This is a great thing. Let that boil. Probably, let me get a lid. So what I'll do is I'll just put the lid on this. We're gonna swap this out, pour this up, and let that cook up here. This will just simmer, like it's gonna continue to boil, but it'll that'll cook the noodles real quick, that's good. This I'm gonna let heat up. That'll be our chicken for our salad. Come on, boil. Let that come back to a boil here get up another container up for our salad. I don't have as many big containers anymore. I think this is gonna work right here. Let me go over here. Last time I washed everything, I'm not going to because this says washed. Does it say washed? Does it say washed? Let me see. Yeah. I was like, does it say washed? Thoroughly washed. So I'm not gonna wash it. You can go ahead if you feel like you need to. Let me go right ahead. So this I'm just gonna take out. Now, some of the lettuce, because it is obviously going to go bad, don't put it in there if it's looking yucky. I have another huge bag of this, so I'm okay with throwing away a little bit. But for 50 cents, this was pretty cheap salad, very cheap salad. The lettuce, actually, so this is good. All right, let me get my, where it's turning color. Then my heads of lettuce, I was looking at those in there, and they are definitely um, going to be on the, the cusp, the cusp, is that the word? On the cusp of, um, we're not on knives, of getting 
to be eaten up, but it might just be more the outside I have to worry about, um, you know, just peeling off. And that's okay, because we'll use it for something. I'm going to take, these are all veggies that were sitting on a plate. You can't see. Over here, we did that. What day did we do that? Whatever day you were here, Monday? Was it Monday or last week? I don't remember. But anyways, this will work for uh, just chopping these up, putting them in the salad. we got some broccoli here. And then this will be good to like, you know, we can put the chicken on it. We have all different kinds of cheeses. Parmesan cheese, there's provolone. We can add the chicken to it. That's the beauty of salad. You can just add anything. And then I have tons of seeds and even Dorito toppings, which is really nice when you're having a salad. And you have kids, they're all like, ooh, it just makes it taste a little bit better. So let me get, everything's boiling away here. Okay, we're doing it. We're multitasking because I got to get done. So let's peel this cucumber here. Hold on. This is the one I got before I went on my trip. So it is definitely, if I would have had the individual small ones, they would be getting yucky. But this is the big one, all wrapped up. Sorry, it's all chopped in plastic. So I'm just gonna cut the ends because they kind of feel yucky, wash it off. And then um, continue to put this in here. So this is easy. Peel real quick. Can you see, as I can even see? Look at that, salad is done. See how quickly you can do some meal prep? And now I don't have to worry about it because yeah, I can come home and do all this, but I have a, a busy day. So when I get home, it's gonna be, all right, I gotta tend to kids. I'm gonna sit down and we'll have lunch and I've gotta do school, which takes a long time and you know, edit my video here too. So it's gonna be a consumable day. Look at that, perfect. Okay, look at that. Did that all right there. Let me get some plastic. Actually, I don't wanna pull plastic, so I'm gonna take a Wax paper sheet right there and just stick this in my refrigerator. Okay, so everything is like getting there. Get out some milk. You can add heavy cream. I'm gonna do the lactose milk here so that everybody can enjoy this. And like I said, do it as thick as you want or whatever, but I feel like that is gonna be some good soup right there. There's the spinach we never even touched, so pull this. Spinach is one of those things that when it's frozen, watch this, you can just crumble it into like a bunch of tiny pieces. You can chop it too if you want, but I'm not going to chop it. So I'm just going to crumble this up right here. Fill that soup up. I turned it back on because I stirred it and I realized, where's my spoon? It's my leave, it's over there. And then I realized that it had, um, it was not enough noodles, so I had to add another handful. Look at that, that's delicious. I feel like it doesn't matter if you use heavy, I mean, heavy cream's gonna be heavier, but look at that, is that not the best? Yes. So good, and then you saw all the chicken. Let me get a spoon and try this. Okay, that's hot. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that soup is so, so good. So look it, soup is done. Soup is done, got a mess here. I got that bread I've gotta put in here. The only other thing I'm waiting on is this granola. So I'm gonna have to see, I have to leave in about a half hour. So I don't know, let me see here. I don't think it's ready. No, you want it to kind of get a little bit more toastier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that continue to do its thing. I don't have to leave for about a half hour. When I go, I will shut that off. I'm gonna make a note, that'll just keep rising. That's all that's gonna do. If it rises too big, then we'll have fluffy bread. That is okay. <laughs> so we have soup for lunch. I'm just thinking breakfast. What are the kids gonna for breakfast? Breakfast is gonna have to be cereal and that's okay. We can do cereal. Cereal is gonna get food in my nails. Cereal for breakfast. I was gonna make breakfast pizza, but you know what? Another day, I can do that tomorrow. So this will be lunch, some kind of soup. Dinner can be, that we'll have the salad. Oh, sorry. Salad with the chicken, which is down here with the chicken. We can do it in a wrap a tortilla wrap too, that will work. And then we also have, as you can see in here, I have, this is called Jared's casserole. There's some rice. This is the broccoli and um, beef. 
there's mac and cheese right here still too and i gotta get the blueberries out i'll put these out today i'm actually just gonna wash this and put this in the counter so that we eat those because we ate them yesterday and that's good good day like a good early morning what did that take me a few hours and like you know what i've got some stuff in my i got a bunch in my freezer the all the soups in my freezer right there tons of soups what i say 18 and 18 that's a lot of little i think they're pints i don't even know what size they are 18 big containers of soup little containers of soup and then all the applesauce so that's actually and then granola when i take that out i'll let it sit so in a half hour i'll take it out i'll just leave it on the counter when i get back it'll be nice and you know cooled off and i'll put it in mason jars that's what we do with ours and just stick it in my pantry a little bit of meal prep like that will help your life a whole lot easier if you cannot though that is okay like I said, don't be shamed by these videos and think, I gotta make my own cream mushroom soup. I gotta do, no. You know how I started out? I wish I would vlog way back when I started out. I started out by doing one thing, like one thing. And I, I was baking. So we would bake once a week. That's how we did our house when I had a lot of little kids. And I was like, all right, it was Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday was my baking day. That's all I focused on was that. I didn't do school. We took the day off and baking was it. I didn't do school with the little kids. The older kids did their thing. And I was like, that was my focus all day. So I'd start my bread early. You know, I would get cookies or whatever we would make. All the, anything that would consider baking or extra. Sometimes I'd make soup. Sometimes I would make um, granola. Just depending on what I needed, you know, at that time. But... I would just, that's how I started. And then as I started doing it, I was like, okay, I can make a little bit of extra pumpkin muffins. So I made a huge batch. Like I think my, my original one, I don't know, I think it has 18 eggs in it. 18 dozen, yeah, eight, not 10 dozen, 18 eggs in it. So I'd make a huge batch. You know what I would do with that? I would freeze all of it. So then the next week, I still had baking day, but I didn't have to make muffins. So I made something else. So maybe I made pancakes and I made extra pancakes. So then by the third week I had muffins and pancakes extra in the freezer. And then I might've added something else to it, granola. Then by the fourth week, it's like, okay, I still have pumpkin muffins. I still have pancakes and I have granola. Just keep adding to it. And then pretty soon it gets easier and easier. It really, really does. Doing the once a month shopping, once a month meal plan prepping. That's not how you start out at all. You prep for once a week. Get your meal prep for a week then prep for two weeks and then do two and a half weeks then try three weeks then try four weeks and don't get hard on yourself when you forget some stuff because you know what everybody does and then every time you do it the more consistently the easier it gets so that's the key with everything everything takes time you might watch these and go i can't do that don't do that because i have been doing this for a long time 28 years of running a household <laughs> that's a long time to work on my skills so skills and i'm still not there i'm still like have faltered getting things done so there's no perfection it just it's a continuation and a journey in getting things done so that's what you do in your life as well all right so thank you guys for watching and for supporting my channel supporting myself and my family and just uh, being here you guys are amazing and wonderful i'm very very thankful for each and every one of you so have a beautiful rest of your day i'm gonna see you tomorrow i don't know what we're gonna do something tomorrow all right bye